Hi everyone, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. So today I'm going to do an acrylic painting of two cute little owls for you. Uh, I got this reference picture off unsplash.com uh, which is a royalty free reference site and yeah, I'm just starting to draw in the outlines of both of these cute little owls and then I will get into the painting. Okie doke, so I'm happy with the drawing and the proportion, so now I start in with the paint and I go in for the background with a, a colour called Hooker's Green and I take that across the whole background, I added a little bit of water but generally it's quite sort of thick paint and yeah I add that completely all around both of the owls. So now I go to work on the bird itself and I mix up a burnt umber cobalt blue and I add a touch of titanium white to make the grey and I cover this whole bird, uh, block it in completely. I'm only going to work on one bird at a time. So yeah, I block in this first bird completely and then I start with a little bit of yellow ochre and I add a little bit of colour around the head and the chest and I also add a little bit of white to that and um, then I start to add feather details around the eyes and then I add the yellow for the eye which is lemon yellow. I use a bit of um, burnt sienna for the pupil of the eye and Mars black for around the eye. And then I start to work a little bit on detail just around the face. Now for the beak I've used yellow ochre and I've made up an orange with a bit of red and yellow, just a stronger colour and add that to the bottom of the beak and then I go to work around the bird's feathers again, this time with a bit of burnt sienna and a bit of white and I take that around everywhere that's going to have the darker feathers. And I continue with that around the whole bird um, and I add a little bit of burnt umber here and there but generally it's um, burnt sienna and white and for the darker areas yeah, it's a bit of burnt umber and a bit of blue. I'm also being careful to take my brush strokes in the direction of the feathers. That's something to take note of. Always follow the direction of the feathers or the fur on the animal you're painting. And yeah, it really helps to give them depth and dimension and yeah, make them look more realistic. So now on the wing I'm adding a little bit of transparent red iron oxide, it's a gorgeous warm colour so I take that over all of the grey and then over the top of that I start to build up again with the burnt umber and also burnt sienna and here and there I will add a little bit of white for the feather textures because um, they have quite mottled feathers these birds and you'll see I mix up the colours here and there and add a little bit of dark brown, a little bit of lighter red brown and a little bit of white.
Now I start to work on the feet and I add a little bit um, of a pinky grey colour to the to top of the feet and then I add a darker grey to the bottom and then I go back to working on the wings again. I added a little bit of yellow ochre to the bottom of his wings just to highlight that area a little bit. Yep, back to working on the feet. So a bit of burnt umber over the top just in the texture and like because their feet have got quite defined lines on them so I draw those in pretty much with the burnt umber and a little bit of um, burnt sienna. And then I go back to working on the main body of the bird again and just adding sort of finer details now for this one. Now I start to work on the second bird and I do the same thing again I go as the first. I go in with a burnt umber cobalt blue and a touch of white to make this light grey and I just block in completely the whole owl. And then I build up the layers again with burnt sienna um, and a little bit of white here and there. I also add burnt umber in the darker areas and I start to build up the layers just the same way as I did on the first owl. So I start to work around the details on the eye and I add a little bit of white, it's got a little touch of brown in it. And then I start to work on the details on the eyes, eyes are my favourite thing. So I add a dark grey, almost a black to the rim around the eye and to the pupil. And I've used lemon yellow and also a bit of cadmium orange around the eye. And then I start to work again on the feathers. Now I start to work on the tree stump and I start with yellow oxide and I take that around the whole stump, just um, slightly water, more watery in some parts than others. So you can see the thicker paint is the darker parts and the lighter paint is the watery, more watery parts. And then I will add different browns over the top to add the texture. Um, as I get further into it, I will add like a blue, purpley blue to the top for the shadow areas. So now I'm adding a little bit of brown iron oxide just around the edges and also a little bit of burnt sienna and I'll just mix up the colours a little bit and make a few random patterns around the edge just to make it look a bit more tree stump like and then you can see I'm darkening up the top underneath the bird's feet now and adding a few more textures into the stump itself.
Now I'm starting to add the final details. Uh, so I'm adding a bit more uh, burnt sienna and a bit more of the rich transparent red oxide around that um, second bird and a very dark shadow color. I've actually added that purple shadow color right next to where the, the two birds join. Um, I think it just adds a nice contrast. So yeah, we're just about done. So I'd love it if you click on like and subscribe and click on the bell icon. That way you'll be notified when I release a new video. Um, I also have a Twitch channel where I live stream up to seven days a week and I love to hang out and have a chat while I paint. Um, so yeah, I'd love it if you'd pop over there and you can hang out with me pretty much seven mornings a week while I paint all these artworks. Um, we have a bit of a laugh, so that's awesome fun. I also have an Instagram. I'll have it all linked below. So I'd love it if you'd join me on my other social medias as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you next video. Okie doke. Bye.